Good evening and welcome to Rosendale, Wisconsin on this beautiful October 20th evening. It's about an hour before sunset, so I don't have a whole lot of time. The subject of tonight's video is this Sato FA45 engine that was the subject of two videos with saying Sato 45 bad bearings. Now what I have done with this engine is just for the hell of it, I decided to invest the $7 in bearings. I completely disassembled this engine, replaced the bearings, and I didn't do anything else to it. I didn't clean it. I didn't do anything. I just replaced the bearings and put it all back together. And now we're going to see if it runs any better. If it sounds any better, it'll sound better, guaranteed. But I want to see if I get any better high-speed RPM because I believe that this engine is just worn out. But that's what we're here to find out. So I've got the same 11.6 Zor prop that I ran before. I believe that's the same prop. Same OSF glow plug, same 5% fuel. And let's just run and see how she does now. It's already getting really hot and it was barely doing anything. Let's open the needle some. shut down again. I don't know. I think I was right. Maybe this engine is just toast. Maybe it's just not a good engine. days.
was an odd stop. Okay, so it runs. I guess it sounds a little bit better. Obviously it sounds better because it's got fresh bearings in it, but uh, the bearings were not the culprit for why it was losing 660 RPM on the peak. So this engine is just as I suspected. It's just tired, it's worn out, and that's really all there is to it. And I think I've got it running about as good as it was going to run. Now, the one thing I didn't mention in the intro that I also did not do, did and did not do, is that I didn't put the pushrod covers back on this, nor the rocker covers, because when I took the cam cover off, uh, the, one of the boots was really dry rotted and it just was destroyed taking it off and it happened to be the intake one which is the one that the cam follower that needs to come out to set the timing on the engine so I just said the hell with it I'm just gonna make it look old school and just not put the push rod covers on and leave the rockers exposed I mean it's cool I mean it's a neat looking engine especially with the patina on the case and everything but obviously it's just not an engine that's worthy of being ever put in an airplane. Now I might keep it and run it a few more times like this because it's fun to run. You're just not going to see maximum RPM out of it. And I could probably do a little bit more tweaking on the low end here. I did not do anything with the carb. I didn't want to change anything, clean the carb or do anything that was going to change the way it behaved before. Now I might go back and, and look through the carb, but I'm not sure. But anyway, that's a run of this old worn tired out Sato FA45 engine.